Hi everyone, it's your boy Master Chief Mike again. And this time we are talking about my uh, wrestling clothes again. And yeah, this time we are looking at the wrestling clothes that I have from AEW. This is the third part of the series that I started. So I'm very excited. So let's get into it, shall we? So, as you can see here, we have a zip hoodie, huh? a zip hoodie from Sting. That's it's, it's a Sting zip hoodie, the icon, the legend. It's really cool. That's a, also something on the backside. His face. Wait a minute, I will lay it down. Here. Here we see Sting on the backside too. His face paint and his name. And of course, the AEW symbol. All Elite Wrestling. Great. Such a beautiful zip hoodie. Also, you can see here, you can see the caps, the AEW cap, the All Elite Wrestling cap, which you probably have seen already on my Instagram, Instagram account, if you are following me there. Original, original MC Mike. No? The name of my account here my sting cap uh, this is these two are baseball caps i think yep i think and here we have a beanie a aew beanie that i bought and yeah we are talking about different times back then they have also a mask Here, all of the dressing mask. Back then, I bought that because uh, I don't wanted to wear the masks uh, that, that uh, were available uh, in stores or something. If I have to wear this this thing on my face. I would like to have something on it that I like. So I I wanted to have a wrestling mask to wear. Uh, and I ha sadly I had to wear masks at the time because our government is fucked up. So yeah. When I have to wear when I had to wear this I Wanted to have an AEW mask. I also have masks from a, another company, but, but we will come to that later. But the, yeah, that that was it with that. Uh, so here are my caps, my beanie, my zip hoodie, uh, and this mask. But now to the biggest part of my clothes, which are... Of course, um, wait a minute, I forgot something to put here, which was, of course, the hoodie I have. It's also an AEW hoodie. No? And yeah. Uh, but but it's um, from AW and it's from a Blackpool Combat Club. I love the babe. I love the Blackpool Combat uh, Blackpool Combat Club because it's it's such a strong group. It's I, I love the violence, the, the the sheer violence in this group. It's 
and they are competitive with each other with against against uh, against others to I love this Blackpool Combat Club. I love when William Regal started it. I think he was the one who started it together with uh, John Moxley and Daniel Bryan, I think. And then later Vida Judas joined them and then then uh, Claudio Castagnoli joined them. I could be wrong in the order a little bit, but yeah, I love the Blackpool Combat Club. I I was sad to see that Real Regal left, but uh, yeah, it, it, it I was sad at the time because uh, Real Regal it was basically with him. It was he was the mentor basically. He was a mentor to the Blackpool Combat Club, but. They are doing good as, uh, these days as well. So, yeah, I, I like the Black Bull Combat Club. You're looking again, that's a sign. But uh, I, I only have this hoodie from them. I will maybe buy a t shirt in the, uh, in the future uh, too. But yeah, that is the hoodie that I have from AEW. Uh, Blackpool Combat Club hoodie. But now to the others, other things that other things that I have, other clothes that I have, which are the T-shirts, and there there are many T-shirts that I have from AEW. You can see the uh, T-shirts and the caps and everything from the last parts. No, huh? but but now we are. Looking at the T-shirts, uh, uh, also the cappies and everything from the last part, but here you can see the T-shirts that I that we are looking at in this video now. The AEW ones. So now we're looking at the first one, which is. The better than you, baby, T-shirt. I love the tag team of better than you, baby, because it was a cool beginning uh, that they have. They started this tag team, and I loved how MJF uh, slowly turned into a face. Which means he turned to a good guy, uh, and better than you, baby, was a fun tag team to watch. I, I, I really wanted to have them longer as a tag team because this was a, such a cool storyline. I, and it was a cool thing to see. Uh, but uh, the heel turn was cool to see as well, uh, Adam Cole. But I loved, I loved the tag team. I loved the tag team. It's what it was such a cool friendship between uh, Adam Cole and MJF, Maxwell, Jacob, Friedman, and I will be now the. The, that he's resigned with the company uh, and he stays with the company MJF I mean no uh, the the rivalry can go on and we will see a great storyline uh, when it comes to that it's I'm sure it will be great and also also uh MJF what a talent. I, I, I'm happy to see him back. His promos are legendary. I can't wait. I can't wait to see this rivalry going forward. So here are the next here's the next t-shirt I have, which is another um uh, better than you baby t-shirt. But this is 
broad chat shows for life. Yeah, the broad chat shows for life T-shirt that they had. And I I really wanted to have this because this was a cool new term. I had never heard it, and MJF came up with it, and it was cool. Broad chat shows for life. They they, they because. Uh, because he, they were such best friends in the storyline. I loved the storyline so much. And yeah, here, uh, of course, uh, I I I found fu I found it funny when Tree mentioned Tree mentioned this term in her on her channel. This was funny. Uh, she never heard this term, but one of our tatas mentioned it, and she's. As she said, as she said that it was funny to hear, and it's just a cool thing that uh, two worlds that I like are crossing over. So the Tater world uh, with the wrestling world. So we could see trees saying we Taters could see uh, 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 here. Tree saying brochachos, uh, and she, yeah, but uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know who Tree is, look up my birthday video that I made for her, then you will find out she's a political commentator, but also a um. Yet she is currently more active on her another channel on her other channel, just free, uh, just three four one one, yeah. Uh, in which she talks about um, manosphere and other things like that, and the red pill community and so something like that. Yeah, these people are such idiots. This this red pill red pillars, but we are we ain't talking about that on here. We are talking about something very important, which is pro wrestling. So that was the pro judges for life T-shirt. Um, from the better you better than you tag team, better than you baby tag team in AEW. So, but that is over sadly now. Now he's in the Undisputed Kingdom and MJ is back. I'm very happy to see him back. And yeah, he's in a singles uh, run right now. So we will see him probably back in the picture, of, in the title picture again. But that maybe after we see uh, him beating Adam Cole in the rivalry uh, in the, yeah, that they have right now. So, this is my Soraya t-shirt. Soraya is uh, Paige, from w formerly known as Paige in WWE. Né? And I'm, I was so happy to see her back in the ring. I was so happy to hear that she can go back in the ring again. I was so happy for her. My, my, you could see how happy she was when she came back. And I wanted to really have a t-shirt of the outcasts. Huh? But uh, it, sadly, it, is, it isn't available anymore. But... Uh, I like this little faction with with, with uh, Ruby Soho and uh, Tony Storm and Saraya. They are that what was a really cool faction, and I liked it very much. Uh, I show I don't show the backs of the shirts, but because most of the shirts have nothing on the back, so uh, yeah. As you can see here, nothing on the back. And that's the case with most of the AEW t-shirts. I think 
maybe all of the AW t-shirts. So here you can see the AW logo on the side here. And uh, you can kill me on the tombstone uh, and the roses. And here's Sar Saraya. Sometimes they call them, sometimes uh, they call her Saraya, but I don't know, I don't think that is the right uh, pronunciation i think saraya is a but, but i could be wrong i could be wrong so yeah uh but yeah uh now we're looking at the other t-shirt i am oh what i forgot to mention what i have forgot to mention is that i'm really a big fan of her brother Zack the Zodiac. I followed his uh, uh, journey uh, from back in the Indies to now where he is on AEW television. I'm so happy for him. I and I'm so happy for him and uh, his sister that they can work together now. His sister, is, of course, is Saraya. Uh, Saraya. Like I've said before, and I am so happy. I'm so happy for them that they can work together in a storyline, and we will see what he will do. In is his uh, career now that he is on AW? I think he didn't have won a title at uh, Ring of Honor, but I could be wrong because I can't watch it right now. But maybe, yeah, uh, I maybe he wa had won something, but I haven't seen it. But now he's on AEW tele television, and I hope he will win a title soon. Of course, of course, he works his way to the top. I think that because he is a good wrestler, in my opinion. I I I've just found his gimmick a little bit strange but maybe it will change soon okay now we coming we are coming to this t-shirt which is a john moxley t-shirt formerly known as dean ambrose from the shield it is a really cool t-shirt which i which is the reason why i bought it i liked it then here you can see the hand grenade and the mocks and the violent, unscripted violence, which is the Blackpool Combat Block, uh, which is part of the Blackpool Combat Club. Unscripted violence. I love it. I love his style. I love his, uh, his, uh, he, he was always good on the mic, which is the reason why he was the first one uh, who, who mainly was on the mic at the Shield faction back in the days when he was Dean Ambrose. He was ma the main one on the mic because the others still had to learn the skills uh, because, okay, uh, he, they, they are not as good as him at that time on the mic. He was the best. So he was basically the spokesperson of the shield. Because they are, he was not a leader. Neither was Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns. Because they were all equals in that faction. This, I don't give a damn who says otherwise. They were all equals in that faction. Also, in the Blackpool Combat Club, they are all equals. No one is the leader there. So, no one needs to come to me with that bullshit that the Shield had the leader or something like that. Even though Seth Rollins said it when he was the heel. And he became heel, a bad guy. Uh, yeah, there was no leader. Here you can see the American Dragon 
uh, t-shirt of Brian Danielson. He never really wore a t-shirt at the beginning of his uh, AEW run, formerly known as Daniel Bryan in WWE. He never really wore a t-shirt like that. At the beginning he only uh, wore a t-shirt, a white t-shirt, because he wanted to show his uh, his uh, abilities in the ring more and not uh, selling t-shirts with it or something like that. I don't know what the reason was. I don't really care because he was just, he is ju just a real good, really good wrestler and I had to have his t-shirt. It was, uh, I was a fan of Daniel Bryan back then in WWE, not from the beginning, but later then. Uh, um, uh, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Bill Morrow. Uh, at the beginning, I didn't really care about Daniel, Daniel Bryan much. The storyline with the Bellas, I found a little bit, not, it was not my thing. And yeah. But now I'm a really big fan of him. I was a, a real big fan of him back then when he had the ass movement behind him. Uh, yeah, he he was he was awesome, and he is still awesome. I like this T-shirt, and that's why I bought it. I, I bought it, and this cool T-shirt, and he's part of the Blackpool Combat Club now. I didn't really understand this be real t-shirt. Okay, it could be mean, yeah, we are real fighters. We kick ass and we, we make and bleed and everything like that. We are violent and everything. It, it could be that case. But uh, yeah, I this be real t-shirt, I won't buy that. But I will buy uh, uh, that Blackpool Combat Club t-shirt. With the fist on it, with the bloody fist on it, I will buy that because I like that. Um, um, when I have the money, I will buy that. Yeah. Uh, so to, to the next one, which is uh, Claudio Castagnoli, I, which is formerly known in WWE as Cesaro, for uh, and. Or, uh, f uh, before that, Antonio Cesaro. Here you can see Claudio Castagnoli, the name on it, the fist that I've spoken of, but here's it. it's not a bloody fist, it's just a fist with the Swiss with the flag of Switzerland on it. Here you can see the Bl Blackpool Combat Club logo on it. Also, the AEW logo, and yeah, it's a really cool T-shirt. I have to have it because I love uh, how uh, I love the fact how I, I like I like Claudio Castanovi. I like him. He's a, he can speak German. He's a he he uh, knows the German language. He he actually knows five languages, which uh, is really impressive i uh, uh i know only know two uh which is german and english of course but and i'm not even that good in english but uh, i'm good enough to make videos thank thankfully so yeah but uh, um but he knows five languages he is strong as hell and uh, oh my god I i'm a really big fan of Claudio Castanoli, and I wished him that I wished for him that he would have a, w would have had a bigger push in WWE. But yeah, they missed the opportunity, and he became a world champion in ROH in Ring of Honor, which belongs to the AEW brand now. No, huh? and yeah. Thank, uh, thanks to Tony Khan, it still exists. And uh, thanks to Tony Khan, Claudio Castanoli could show 
what uh, a great champion he could be what a what a great wrestler he he was not restricted like he was in the WWE that that's the freedom the creative freedom of AW made it possible for him to become a world champion to prove himself as a world champion and I'm happy for him now to the next t-shirt Sting I love Sting I think I mentioned it already in the Impact Wrestling t-shirt uh, in, in the win in the Impact Wrestling uh, video where we talk about the wrestling clothes that I have from Impact Wrestling and the that that was I think the mm, best video I've made. Uh, uh, yeah, it was the second one in this series that I've made uh, that I that I talked about the uh, the, the stinger um, and the clo uh, the t-shirts and the the other clothes that I have on Impact. But Sting, I I like this run in uh, TNA, and I I loved his run in AEW. Uh, what what they did in WWE, I don't. Uh, it is it was disrespectful. It was not okay. It was it was a an insult to the icon. What they did to what what they did to him. At WWE, that is my opinion. They put that they put him in the, the WWE Hall of Fame, but they give they didn't give him one win at WWE. I think I haven't seen a match that he won. I could be wrong, but uh, it was a terrible run. They disrespected him so much. They give, didn't give him a win against Triple H at WrestleMania. They didn't give him not even a championship. He was the he is the icon Sting. He ended his career. Now he can he could say he was the icon, but he's still the icon. And for me, no. Nah. And WWE missed a great opportunity to have a. Great match between him and The Undertaker. Box office would be off the roof for this, but yeah. So many faults were made in his run in WWE. AEW did the right thing. Gave, gave him the right send off, gave him a ton of good matches. And he had, it wasn't, it wasn't a singles run, yeah, but he had a good tag team partner in Darby Allen, and both of them were awesome in this run, and Darby Allen and Sting, it was a great run, it was a great storyline, it was awesome, and the last match was awesome as well, I was happy for Sting to have his sons in the ring, to, 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 uh, to think that he could have his sons in the ring and everything like that. Everything was perfect with this. I love this. And I I'm, I really do want to have it, this shirt. And uh, here you can see the zip hoodie again, which I needed to have too. I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I bought... As, yeah, zip hoodie, t-shirt, and cap. That was what I bought. And I will buy a, another t-shirt from Sting in the future. Too. Yeah. So, yeah. This is, uh, yeah. It was so good to see, to have him respected. Uh, that they gave him respect at AEW. No, uh, it was it was so good to see that he gave him the that they gave him the respect and the right send off, and I loved I love to see it. I love to see it. He deserved 
a good send off and it was it was a great place to finish his career at AEW Revolution and an abs absolutely awesome match. I was happy. And they re they defended their AEW World Tag Team Championships and I am I was it was awesome. So now we are talking about the next t shirt. Which is a t-shirt, um, of Sting and Darby Allen. Uh, do you so far, uh, the, the other t-shirt was a Sting alone, uh, single Sting t-shirt, and now he can see the Sting and Darby Allen t-shirt, which I bought. Uh, here, Darby Allen on the other side, here you can see Sting. Because he saw many, uh, he saw himself in Derby, um, which he said said at the beginning, basically, uh, of his run in AEW, and yeah, he, it was awesome. It was awesome to see this tag team, the beginning from the beginning to the end. It was um, I I liked the tag team, and I liked the run, as I've mentioned before. It was so I had to have this t shirt. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <sighs> Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, on to the next t shirt. I have a lot of t shirts from AEW. Way more than from Impact Wrestling, may obviously may more, uh, way more than from WCW. So now we are looking at the next one, which is a Chris Jericho, a little bit of a bubbly T-shirt. Everyone knows this meme because uh, everyone. <laughs> Everyone had to mix up the, a, a little bit of a bubble with everything. I I I myself made the compilation uh, on my mind's account about uh, the a little bit of the bubble meme uh, that is that was going around, and I made the c compilation of that and then put it on my mind's account because there were music on it that uh, that would have brought my YouTube channel in trouble. So I had to post my video obviously on uh the Mind account. Here yeah. Here you can see the champagne flash uh, the, the, the champagne bottle excuse me and the bubbly and the little bit of the bubbly and yeah uh, and I'm still a huge Chris Jericho fan. I don't give a damn what people say about him. He is a great wrestler. He shows what he uh, what he, what he can still do, and he can do a lot, unlike others. Uh, I I like Chris Jericho. I'm a big fan of him. I will. Still be a big fan of him in the future. I like his current work. Even it, some people don't understand that the storylines he uh, he had had at the beginning, uh, not at the beginning, but they started many storylines. First of was the storyline with Kenny Omega a short time ago. I I really like that. I would have enjoyed it uh, I, if it had wasn't the case that he have to break up the storyline because Kenny Omega got sick. It's sad that that I I'm wish him well. I wish Kenny Omega well, and I hope Kenny Omega will be will get well soon. But uh, yeah. They had to break up this storyline with Kenny Omega, 
So Chris Jericho had to adapt to the, uh, to the situation and yeah, the next storyline had to begin. Uh, so what, 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 what they came up with a, the deal for was to pair him again with Sammy Guevara. But this situation ended up as ended up badly as well because he was suspended, and rightfully so. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, for uh, yeah, I think he uh, dropped. Uh, he 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 still he still attacked Jeff Hardy while uh, he. Uh, had a concussion, uh, made this finisher on him while he was concussed, and everyone saw it already, and that's why he was suspended. He should have broken up the fight or maybe just pin him or something like that. I don't know what it really was. I forgot it, uh, but something like that was uh, was there in the case, and that he just. Uh, made a big mistake by uh, continuing while his opponent was uh, concussed uh, and made his finisher and th uh, yeah did something wrong. Yeah, this is the Inner Circle T-shirt, a faction that built that was built by Chris Jericho and it was one of the first factions in AEW. Uh, and with Sammy Guevara and and some others in this faction, I don't know all the people in this faction because I it's uh, it's uh, while uh, it's um. Was uh, this is a? Uh, it was a long time ago now, so I don't know every member of the faction. But Sammy Guerrero was part of that uh, of that as well. And yeah, uh, I like this faction too. And yeah, later the rivalry with MJF began. It was a cool storyline. But yeah, I like the Inner Circle, it was a cool faction, yeah. and had their cool clothes as well, cool clothes as well, but uh, yeah, I, I only bought the t-shirt. So yeah, and here we have the first t-shirt that had, that Christian had, Christian Cage. Huh? Formerly known as Christian in, in in WWE, here you can see the artwork. Everyone, uh, I I really love that he was uh, part of that he is part of AEW and he has currently the run of his life. He can live out his full creativity. Uh, here AEW, Christian Cage, outwork everyone. And with, that is what he's currently doing. It is awesome what he does with his character. But what he's saying is savage. He do, does say things which he couldn't ever say in WWE. So yeah, creatively they have way more freedom still in AW instead in uh, of WWE. But yeah, the, every company has a, the the good things and the bad things, and yeah, some 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 bad things happen in AW too. Which I, yeah, criticize will criticize in the future videos sometimes. Uh, also, I will also criticize every other company as well. But uh, yeah, this is now the topic right now here. So here you can see 
the other t-shirt that I have from Christian Cage. I wanted to buy the blue one, the blue version, but I didn't found it anymore. Christian Cage. Mm. You can see the logo. Here the AW logo. Fantastic one. Yeah. I like the t-shirt that I have and I will always try my best to keep them in a good condition because I want to wear them for a long time even uh, and, I, and when they are damaged I try to repair them as best as I can yeah I love my t-shirts so yeah it was a little pause because um yeah I, the the you broke up huh? because I had no place on my pla uh, safe uh, my memory card anymore so yeah now I I show you the next t-shirt which is uh, no more BS huh? Paul White t-shirt Paul White for me known as Big Show in WWE he he is now in AEW and yeah, my mainly is a commentator. I think I have have rarely seen him compete and yeah, his legs ah oh, it hurt to see his legs when I when I saw him came out when he and Jericho broke together, but uh, I I was happy to see him because. I like Big Show. Big Show was one of he's he's one one he I like him. I like him. I really like him. He's a entertaining guy. He's he is good at wrestling. He he's also for a giant very in, innovative. But yeah. It, is, it was it was a very very sad situation when I saw him came out I was happy in one on one side but I was sad in the other side when I saw him uh, the last time when I, he worked with, with Jericho together but when he came first to AW and wore the shirt I was happy to see him uh, see him back and I saw one of his matches at dark I think he it was a good match and he that didn't have the problems with his necks, which he has now. I, 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 oh my god! But and back then he looked very good, and then yeah, the last match. It was still a good match, and it was a short uh, part that Big Show had. Uh, excuse me, Paul White had at that match, but. It was a good one, and he made it, did his job well, and yeah, but no more BS. I I like Big Show and I, I like Paul White. I like Paul White, and he, I will always be a fan of Paul White in the future, yeah. uh, because Big, Big sorry, I'm used to calling Big Show. I'm used to it. To call him Big Show, but yeah, Paul White is a great guy, I think, and he's he's awesome, I think, and he was an awesome giant in WWE, and he was a, he is an awesome giant and commentator at AEW. You will never hear me say say. Really something bad about him because I like him so much. So, on to the next t-shirt. I hopefully can do this video without uh, having so much parts because to, to, to add to get to add to get add it together which is because uh yeah it will be a long one again 
Here you see the Cody Rhodes t-shirt. He became the American Nightmare in AEW first. And he became the main inventor that he is now in WWE in AEW. Which people like to forget. But yeah. He, he worked his way up in the in independence scene. But yeah, he had one of his greatest runs also in AEW. He made it fall by making the match with Chris Jericho. With Chris Jericho, when he had the stipula stipulation that he will never be able to uh, win the world championship at AEW. That was a fall. He admitted it, he admitted it himself. But, that, but he made... The TNT title to what it is today. And yeah, Cody Rhodes. He was, he, he elevated the TNT title. And yeah, then he dropped the title to, to Brody Lee. In the other match that he had with Brody Lee, and he, of course, Brody Lee did a great job holding the title as well. Yeah. So he, here we see, uh, also Cody Rhodes did the right thing by dropping it. To the to the great Brody Lee, he could show what he is really capable of. Uh, um, A W, and it was a good role that he played. Sadly, Brody Lee died. But yeah. But uh, I will speak about him later again. Now we're looking at the Brotherhood T-shirt, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, and Dustin Rhodes, the Natural. Huh? Without the old school, there is no new school. Isn't that right? <laughs> So, yeah. Dustin Rhodes is the half brother of the of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Which the, the funny part is um Dustin Rhodes looked just like him in a, uh, looked just like Cody as a bigger version, a big bigger version. Of Cody when he was younger he looked a bigger like a bigger version of Cody when when uh, when uh, Dustin looked like a bigger version of Cody when he was younger and the the other funny thing is that he called himself the American Nightmare first and he spoke about it on the Chris, Chris Van Wielert show, I think, in his interview with him. Yeah, and <laughs> no, it was cool to hear. And it was no problem to give, uh, uh, for him to give him the name of the American Nightmare. They're brothers. Obviously, I, it was no problem for him. Here we see the CM Punk AEW t-shirt. AEW is responsible for CM Punk to co co that that CM Punk is now back in wrestling again. S some people like to forget that because uh, there were many pro problems with him him in AEW, but uh, which I think he actually caused by himself. To be honest, but. Uh, yeah, uh, I like this run, despite the problems, 
uh, I didn't like uh, that he won the world title two times there because I didn't. I I I like the matches, yeah, but uh, uh, it wasn't the time I think, and also. After he had to drop the first time the title after an injury, he didn't should he shouldn't have won it the second time I think. I I think I I think they had to should have wait. Uh, a little bit until he's uh, uh f fully recovered and had a, maybe some little matches and. Then put the title maybe on him again, but yeah, there were many mistakes made in this run, sadly. Also, I don't blame CM Punk fully for this. He wasn't not he wasn't alone at fault at this, but he was the main problem is this in this situation I think because it is not uh, it is not a secret that he caused problems the first time when he had his run in WWE Triple H says now that he cha he has changed a lot which I think is uh, the, the which the reason of is that he wants to be careful by his second uh, when uh, at the second run i think cm punk wants to be careful because when he gets fired in wwe there is no coming back for him again so he, he tries to behave this time and it it seems to work it seems to work i give him that so yeah, here you can see the Brody Lee t-shirt. Brody Lee, he was a great tag team wrestler in WWE as Luke Harper, together with Eric Rowan. And Eric Rowan has a chance to uh, come to the tribute show to AEW. Uh, it's Eric Redbeard. Now he's back on WWE as one of the Wyatt Six, which is which is understandable. I think uh, he wanted to just be a part of the tribute show because Brody Lee was like a brother, I think, to him, and so many he, Brody Lee was so beloved in this business. He everyone loved him. I I didn't. Here I didn't hear a bad word, bad word about him. I didn't hear a bad word about Brody Lee, and in AW in WWE he was he was loved. He was loved, and everyone was happy, very happy to see him succeeding in AW, and they had to, they gave him the TNT Championship and. Rightfully so, it was awesome. It was an awesome story with the Dark Order, and yeah, here's the shirt of the Dark Order with the AEW logo here, and yeah, he would be a great star right now, I think, if he would still live, and yeah, sadly he died. Yeah. He he was a great star already, yeah. So here I have another T-shirt of Brody Lee, yeah. So here we see that. This is another T-shirt that I have. This is uh, the memory in memory of Brody T-shirt. You can see the date. 1979 to 2020 uh, the exalted one in heaven the exalted in heaven 
Brody. Uh, yeah, Brody Lee. Yeah. Is, is you can see the mm, the picture. And of course, here's the AEW logo. Yeah. And it is. It was really sad, but uh, they made a great tribute show for him. Every everyone um, made a little tribute for him uh, at this show. Which, um, a, uh, the, the clothesline, his clothesline. People made his clothesline very often uh, in WWE as well as in AEW, of course. And yeah, he was a great person. So yeah, on to the last one, to the last t-shirt now, which I have here. The last t-shirt I have from AEW is this one. It's... The King of Hearts T-shirt. They started a tournament uh, for Owen Hart and AEW. Martha Hart don't don't want it to uh, that Owen Hart will be inducted in the Hall of Fame of WWE because uh, of many problems she had with Vince McMahon, I think. And some other reasons, I think, uh, maybe with the whole WWE, how they handled everything with the situation, the tragedy that happened, I think. I don't know what problems th there was at that time, but she gave AEW the right to use his name for this tournament. And that for a reason, and as you can see, you can see also here the Owen Hart Foundation logo. I think a lot of uh, they 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 give the the uh, the pay the 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 money that they are getting at every heart uh, own heart uh, tournament. I think they they're getting the money from that, and uh, they're giving the money to their own heart foundation every time they make this tournament. I think I don't know it really, but uh, but all the receipts from the shirts, I think all the, all they they get when they sell the sh shirts, I think they this money will go to the to to the uh, own heart foundation. This is a really cool thing, I think, and yeah, um, here also you can see the Owen Hart Foundation, here the American flag, here the Canadian flag, and here, of course, Owen Hart himself. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a really great thing to see that Owen Hart uh, is mentioned and is remembered in a great way. Uh, also, Bret Hart was representing the AEW World Title when it first was uh, shown to the people, and he represented presented this title to the people. Uh, so that was it with this, with the T-shirts. From AEW, the wrestling clothes from AEW that I have. Awesome t shirt collection. And the next one, we will look at my WWE clothes. Which is the next part, this will be the last, last part of this series that I've made. So, that was it. And yeah. That was it for this video. I hope you liked it. 
it was a long one again so yeah what can I say uh, again a long video sorry but it, uh, I hope it was interesting to to hear the stories and the things that I have to had to say about the uh, the wrestling clothes that I showed to you and yeah what can I say hope you ha have a good one see you in the next one your boy Master Chief Mike